Monsieur le Haut Commissaire, Mesdames et Messieurs, l'adoption le 10 décembre 1948 de la Déclaration universelle des droits de l'homme constitue l'une des plus importantes réalisations des Nations Unies. Permettez-moi de féliciter le Haut Commissaire pour cette initiative, d'autant plus pertinent dans l'actuel contexte international marqué par de multiples défis. Je souligne encore une fois les droits humains ne sont pas négociables et ne peuvent jamais être remis en question. Mr. High Commissioner, Romania commits to invest its efforts and resources in promoting and advancing women and girls' rights, including through putting an end to violence against women. Unfortunately, we all keep hearing or reading news about women who were victims of domestic violence. We might not pay enough attention because it does not concern somebody we know. However, we all have our share of responsibility to act promptly against violence. Romania is fully committed to continue actively engaging in the fight against moral harassment at work. It is our duty to act and promote a zero tolerance policy against harassment of any kind. Romania is fully committed to continue the fight against trafficking in person. We have reached the 21st century, but trafficking in person still exists. It takes more atrocious and harmful forms. They threaten not only the dignity of victims, but also their life. Romania is committed to take a firm stance against hate speech and incitement to hostile and violent acts of any grounds. For some countries, including my own, it took decades to fully enjoy freedom of expression and opinion. Others are still striving to get there. Unfortunately, we are witnessing, in the name of our right to speak out, too many hostile discourses or acts against parts of the population, especially against vulnerable groups. Mr. High Commissioner, we are all different, but still the same. And I say the same because there is one important thing that we'll all share, the right to enjoy our rights in dignity. Thank you.